This is the first in a series of videos on an amazing mathematical equation called Bayes' Theorem. Now, if you look on the internet, you'll see a lot of web pages and a lot of video tutorials devoted to Bayes' Theorem. Some of them are spectacular. So why do we need another one? Well, I want to do something special here. I want to introduce you to Bayes' Theorem without scaring you off with the mathematics, which isn't very difficult mathematics anyway. I've come up with a novel way to look at Bayes' Theorem that doesn't require the mathematics and really helps you understand it. You really should not go through your life without knowing about Bayes' Theorem. It's that important. Bayes' Theorem is a crowning achievement for mankind or you might want to call it a discovery, depending on how you look at mathematics. What I want is for you to see how important and how applicable Bayes' theorem is. And we'll, you'll get to a point where you'll want to see the mathematics. You'll want a proof because you'll want to prove to yourself that this stuff is correct. So what is Bayes' theorem? Bayes' theorem is a plan for changing our beliefs in the face of evidence. Well, what kind of beliefs and what kind of evidence? Well, all kinds of beliefs, all kinds of evidence. Bayes' theorem applies to everything. Bayes' theorem shows us what to expect in every given situation. If there is not a Bayesian connection between evidence out in the real world and the beliefs that you hold in your head, then you don't have knowledge. Your beliefs will just float around and they won't mean anything. Now, when I'm talking about evidence, am I talking about something that can be used in a court? Yes. Bayes' theorem applies that in a court situation. If we could somehow get used to the idea and use it, our courts would be functioning a lot better than they do now. A lot less innocent people would go to prison and a lot less guilty people would be going free. If you're having a disagreement with someone, Bayes' theorem can help. Bayes' theorem is a math equation that has three terms in it. Now, a term is a grouping of, of variables and numbers that are pulled together by a mathematician because it has some meaning. Well, Bayes' theorem has three of these terms. And if you're disagreeing with someone, usually you're only disagreeing about one of the three terms. So, if you both understand Bayes' theorem, it can focus you on where the disagreement is and resolve the problem a lot quicker. It can even expose someone who's being irrational. Bayes' theorem has wide applications in science and medicine. If your doctor doesn't understand Bayes' theorem, and believe me, a lot of them do not, you'll be subjected to a lot more medical tests and unnecessary procedures. Bayes' theorem is being used in a lot of new sophisticated software too. Some of the spam filtering that's artificially intelligent and throws out the emails that we don't want to read makes extensive use of Bayes' theorem. Bayes' theorem is used in stock investing programs and even sophisticated programs that astronomers are using to categorize the stars. One of the most interesting applications of Bayes' theorem I've seen over the years is used in the field of religious studies. Several theologians over the last 10 or 15 years have come out with books and papers where they try to use Bayes' theorem to prove the existence of God, or they try to use Bayes' theorem to show that the resurrection of Jesus Christ actually took place as it is described in the New Testament. Well, this has been criticized by religious circles and by mathematicians because it is difficult to separate out the variables and make them independent, which is what Bayes' theorem requires. But I think the examples are fascinating, and we're going to look at them. If you have strong religious beliefs, you'll probably find some of what I'm going to say frustrating. Well, all I can say to that is, yeah, that's Bayes' theorem. That's why it's so important, and you need to understand it. So you might be saying to yourself at this point, well, I've gone through my life this far, and I haven't learned about Bayes' theorem. What's the big deal? Well, it's not exactly true that you haven't made use of Bayes' theorem. It turns out that our brains are Bayesian engines. They make Bayesian inferences 
when they're faced with uh, situations in the real world. Now, our brains are imperfect, Bayesian engines. In fact, they range from imperfect all the way to downright irrational at times. But the closer our brains are to functioning as a Bayesian engine, the closer we are to operating in an optimal way. If we're not using Bayes' theorem or anything close to Bayes' theorem, we're going to be wasting time and we're going to be making mistakes. So please, join me in this plunge into Bayes' theorem. I think you'll find it fascinating.